Shift command post and touch coma hangar. I want to check over everything inside. Roger. Chief. At the moment, Beru Taru Bay is being pegged by widespread acts of terrorism, but security for the ceremony and the guests will be assigned jointly. Both the 5th Army's 27th Division, which has a garrison here, and the Atorafu Support Police will be in charge of this. Our mission is to prevent the assassination of former Cabinet Minister Hiram. Have there been any demands from the terrorists after that, other than the death threat? No. But it was a long time ago when Hiruma pushed for developing the Far North, back when he was Land Development Minister. Why would anybody threaten to kill him now? It doesn't make sense. Publicly, Hiruma's retired from the party, but he's a big wheel who still has enough pull to meddle in political policy. He's got lots of enemies. It's not surprising that some of them would try to wipe him out and make it look like it had something to do with the Far North. No. There's probably some significance to carrying out the assassination in Beiru Tarobe, especially at the handover commemoration ceremony. For one thing, the people of the Far North never recognized the theft of the full authority over their own reconstruction as a handover. Even a snot-nosed kid knows that the ceremony is nothing but a performance meant to entertain the political bigwigs who are still suppressing their rights. And that includes Hiroma. At any rate, your top priority is to root out any and all terrorists prior to Hiroma's arrival. You are here to do whatever it takes to prevent his assassination. Understood? avoid any unnecessary talking in front of humans. In that case, I have a suggestion. From now on, whenever we talk, why don't we just use ultra-high frequencies? Humans can't hear them. I agree. I agree. I agree. Without further ado... I can hear something. Some people are talking. What's this? Shisamu has come again? What will it be this time? Shibashikuru or Kararaku? And Upa Charanke is out of the question? Huh? What's Upa Charanke mean? I show that Crow is listed as the meaning of Shibashikuru. And Kararaku is the sound a crow makes. What's it going to be this time? The crow or the crow's call? What's, What's that, that mean? mean?
Allow me to introduce someone. This is Brigadier General Kusmoto. He's the commander of the 5th Army's 27th Division, which will be overseeing security at the ceremony in conjunction with the Etorofu Support Police. Since a military parade is planned as part of the event, the general is going to be in charge of your group as well. How long has it been, Major Kusanagi? Not since Nemuro, I suppose. I don't believe we've met before, Division Staff Officer Kusumoto. You know each other? We both served in the same operation to take back the far north, which had been occupied. The Major and her team drew the enemy away from our forces in Nemuro. You might say that thanks to their efforts, we were able to achieve our victory there. As I recall, General Michiba was your commanding officer, wasn't he? What are you implying? Nothing. The top brass did that all on their own. My division had nothing to do with it. I'm aware of that. Because of what he did, everyone in the division, right down to the enlisted soldiers, came under the suspicion of rebellion, and we were disbanded. We were bounced from post to post all throughout Honshu. We took part in the operation with your group after we reformed in the far north. I apologize if I've touched a nerve. Our duty is to keep the ceremony safe. We will spare no effort to assist you. I have just one word of warning for you and your men, Major. We are no longer attached to the same organization. I expect you to refrain from making unauthorized contact with any military personnel. You're also prohibited from entering military facilities. If you can't give me your word that you'll abide by this, I won't be able to guarantee your safety. You have my word. In any event, we're both in positions where our duty is to protect the state. I'll send you all the information we have on the terrorists we captured. I couldn't help but notice that you've brought think tanks along with you. I'll see that you get clearance to use our training dome. Please feel free to use it if you like. I'll have one of my men give you the location later. If you have any questions about something that turns up in the course of your investigation, contact us on our frequency. My men will see to it. Any questions? None. I wish you good luck. What's his problem? Not the nicest guy in the world, is he? The rumors are right. Bring up the fact that he served under General Michiba and the guy completely loses it. Nevertheless, you mustn't forget that if it weren't for him, we wouldn't have been able to recapture the far north. How long have you guys been listening in? The touch coma's right. Don't focus on anything else. For now, just concentrate on your own mission. Now that's more like it. Okay then, let's get right to it and go on patrol in Better Tower Bay. You just want to gain experience points is more like it. Alright, fine. It's obvious that standing around here won't get anything done. Everyone grab a touch coma. We're heading out. We're going into Beru Taru Bay. terms with Hiruma? And why do they feel the need to kidnap a retired old man at this point? It just doesn't fit. I suppose all we can do is ask Hiruma himself how big a psychological impact this man's kidnapping has had on him. Knowing that geezer, he'll probably just say, I never met the man. 
If you do anything to draw attention, you might compromise the mayor's safety and place his life in jeopardy. Bear that in mind while you're conducting your mission. Roger.
From here on, act in complete secrecy until you've taken the former mayor into custody. There's a risk of the hostage being harmed. Proceed with extreme caution. From here on.
We're going back to the pickup point. Your priority is to keep the former mayor safe. Most of the people we captured alive fried their own cyber brains. Why did we go through the trouble of not shooting them in the head? Gosh, I see you're a pretty fair shot now too, Togata, my boy! Who asked you? It would seem that the previous mayor wasn't informed of the group's name either. But as for the weapons, they could all have been easily obtained in the junkyard district of Berutarube. You must have had a very good reason for taking such an extreme measure as burning out their memories. It's imperative that we find out what it is that they were trying to hide. 